people go to moonrockbooks.com and check it out. Of the 12 volumes we published at Moonrock Books, six have been banned by Amazon. Why would you think they were banned the one talking about the moon landing? That's because it doesn't only talk about the moon landing. It talks about the, the life and death of Paul McCartney, which is a very emotional subject, but where Paul died apparently in an automobile accident on 9-11, oddly enough, in 1966, and was replaced by an even better musician. It also talks about the, the death of Saddam Hussein in a B-1 bomber strike on a restaurant outside of Baghdad on the 7th of April, 2003. So this was just a few weeks into the invasion and where George W. Bush was going to celebrate it and the mission accomplished aboard the USS Lincoln off the coast of San Diego when someone, we believe it was uh, Donald Rumsfeld, Secretary of Defense, realized that three presidents, Reagan, Carter, and Ford, had all signed executive orders against the assassination of the leader of a foreign nation. So if Trump went uh, if if Bush had gone on to the liberty to point out that they'd taken out Saddam Hussein, and we even have Dick Cheney in the New York Times saying, yes, I think we got him. His lifeless body was dragged out of the rubble. He'd be admitting he'd violated the law because of those three executive orders. So they had to replace him with one of his body doubles. Then there's also chapters about how, how Barack Obama uh, resuscitated Osama bin Laden, who actually was our man in Afghanistan. He was instrumental in getting Stinger missiles into the hands of the Mujahideen that they used to shoot down Soviet helicopters and planes to drive them out. He was actually an officer in the CIA, Colonel Tim Osman, where an official of the agency visited him in a hospital in Dubai where he was receiving treatment for his medical maladies but where he died on 15 December 2001 in Afghanistan. It's tough getting dialysis machines in and out of those caves in Afghanistan. There were local obituaries, both CNN and Fox, published on the 26th of December 2001, announcements that Osama bin Laden was dead. But for political reasons, Barack Obama resuscitated him to die again in a stage raid on a compound in Pakistan to position himself for a triumphal re-election as the man who got the most man wanted man in the world, but it was all a pile. 